Yeah, so I have kind of an elaborate over-the-top background. Uh, I studied uh, film and photography, got a degree in fine arts, but I also at the same time got a degree in mathematics. I think I really both have, uh, you know, both sides of the brain going. I, I really like to have both elements in my life. I don't always mix them together. You know, some people will say, oh, why don't you make mathematical art? But that, that's not really the, the point to me. It's just to have both of them, and they can be very complementary, but they don't have to be combined. A cyanotype is often also known as a blueprint. It's an old process from the mid-1800s that is a photographic process at heart that um, you coat fabric or something porous with the sensitizer and then you, when you expose it to UV light, i.e. sunlight, it will turn this really lovely dark shade of blue. I've been playing with that in more of a graphic design manner than photographic manner, but you can really do both and you can mix them up. And so I like the repeatability that I get with this UV box. It's really easy to wire this up. I built this out of a, a kit from Ikea for the frame. And uh, you have the bulbs and the ballast and a light switch, and that's about it. Um, so I use this instead of the sun. I really like ancient cultures and history. And in the way that that all blends up into modern history and, and art as well, because you'll see, you know, you'll be in a 3,000-year-old tomb in Egypt and see a design motif on the wall that, you know, you might see at anthropology, you know, this year, because those little designs and motifs have been around forever, and everyone has been copying each other and reusing them and reinterpreting them and doing them in new uh, media, new formats. Well, alongside that, I'm also really inspired by natural forms, so motifs that represent flowers and birds and things in nature. Those things, nature has been around forever, and so, you know, ancient Egypts were painting flowers just like we're painting flowers now. I just really like fabric for several reasons. One, you can just do so much more with it because you can sew it into shapes. Uh, it also comes in so many different colors and textures. Um, another big benefit about fabric is that you can process it a lot because it's not going to fall apart like a piece of paper. So I can tone things, I can recoat them, I can do a lot to them, and they still hold up and the image holds really well. After you've made your blueprint or your cyanotype print, you can tone it with different chemicals such as tannic acid and borax, and uh, you can change it into different shades of brown, yellow, green, black. The other thing about fabric that's a lot of fun is how the designs interact with the texture and the shape and the fibers of the fabric. So it's just a whole nother uh, aspect to the design process.